Hello, I am doing another review and today the book I'm reviewing is Lionel Shriver's Big Brother. This book was published by HarperCollins in June of 2013. It has 384 pages and it has around 1200 ratings on Goodreads. In a nutshell, the protagonist of this book is named Pandora Apollosa Haferdas or something. The plot centers around her and her older brother Edison who she idolizes. Edison was an aspiring jazz musician. He always had tall tales about how successful he was, how many great jazz greats that he played with, and she hadn't seen him in four years, but when she finally sees him at the airport, she doesn't recognize him because he has gained over 200 pounds, and um, suddenly she is confronted with the fact that her brother is now morbidly obese. Pandora's home life is she's married, she has two stepchildren. Her husband named Fletcher, he is, I would say he's a health freak. Pandora kind of resents the fact that he no longer eats the food that she cooks. The family upon seeing the brother, the men of her family don't like Edison and they keep getting on him about fat joke. You know, there's this like fat phobia, of course, and they are slightly disgusted by him. The daughter, Cody, she is, she just falls in love with him immediately and Pandora can only feel sympathy for her brother and she just keeps wondering how he got to be this big and she wants to help him lose the weight. But Edison is like, I don't give a fuck type of guy. He has given up and is determined to keep his life the way it is. I mean, if he has to put in effort to lose weight when he has nothing to really live for anymore. He doesn't really care and it seems like Pandora she values her relationship with her brother over her family's, which is probably why she decides to leave her family for a year to help her brother lose weight, risking the fact that she might not have a family to come home to after this whole thing is um, done. And it's just, I don't know, the relationship between her and her brother. Their their bond is kind of strengthened by the fact that they're like, they're both children of a has-been actor. The relationship between everyone in the family just seems kind of exaggerated and skewed and I just don't know how people can have these types of relationships. They are clearly unhealthy and then at the same time clearly delusional about who they're with. It just seems like the characters were a bit, I'm not going to say exaggerated, but it seems like the characters were, there are partial characters that, you know, typically with a well-rounded character, you would give them positive traits and flaws. And these characters either had, either seemed like they were all flaws, and then, you know, like Lionel Shriver just didn't actually give them positive traits, or they were all positive traits and they just didn't have any flaws and that kind of irked me a bit because I felt like I hated Edison a bit too much. Like I just didn't even want to know those characters but ultimately with those feelings about this book and how the relationships were portrayed and the characters, the ending kind of, kind of redeemed it for me. I'm not going to give away the ending but suddenly all of those faults made sense, but at the same time, the ending didn't really save the book for me. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I mean, I thought the premise was interesting. There were things that I did find interesting about the book was how they approach size and how realistic it is to ask someone to change their life, how it tried to explore like sibling dynamics and the issue of obesity and how their people are perceived in society, the health of them, um, how people get that big, and and fame, I guess, success. You know, siblings resenting other siblings without realizing it or something. But I felt like this book was like kind of mashing together so many different topics and concepts to really be cohesive and not annoying at times. I don't know, I just felt like the characterization was one of the things that really irked me about this book. I thought it was okay, but stuff irked me about this book. I will be reading more Lionel Shriver books after this. It's This is my first one, and I have the feeling that it's not her best, 
so understanding that I'm still gonna read her other work and also reading up on the reviews like even though the ending of it kind of saved it for me I can understand for people that the ending totally just ruins it for them um, I just kind of got bored with the novel the way that it was going and the way like the choices that Pandora made at least or the choices that the characters made I was like really why are you doing this and I just kind of was rolling my eyes throughout this book but the ending kind of threw me for a loop so I was surprised so I guess that kind of uh, as, as long as I'm kind of surprised in the book that's a good thing for me um, but I wasn't so invested in the characters and the story for me to, enough for me to be angry about the ending but if you are trying to find something really redeeming in the story and you're really you are somewhat invested in what's going on in the story the ending will probably piss you off to be honest so that's pretty much my review for Lionel Shriver's Big Brother three out of five stars it's it was okay but the characters kind of annoyed me most of all in their decisions so that was my review talk to you guys later bye